Evacuation orders have been lifted for the thousands of people forced to leave their homes overnight. As ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala shows us, people grabbed what they could and then waited to see what would happen next. It's amazing how, it's amazing how life changed in one minute. During an already difficult year, the Creek Fire quickly spread overnight in Fallbrook and Camp Pendleton, forcing families out of their homes on Christmas Eve. So the first thing uh, we kind of do, we're going to look for something valuable and start loading up. Bob lives on Shady Lane in Fallbrook and says he was notified of the fire by a neighbor just after 11 p.m. Wednesday. He looked outside and saw the wind pushing the flames. He says he quickly started loading up some important belongings and pretty much anything he could grab in the middle of the night. My uh, little um, exercise. <laughs> oh, you tell you the truth. You see so many fires around here. In California, it's kind of part of our life. A total of 7,000 residents were told to flee their homes. Sheriff's deputies went door to door warning people on Patton Oaks Road, Shady Lane, Darla Lane and part of Main Avenue to get out. At Camp Pendleton, evacuations were ordered at Deleuze Housing, O'Neill Heights Housing and Lake O'Neill Campground. While the Deleuze Housing area, neither one of the housing areas is threatened right now, out of an abundance of caution, in other words, we don't know what the winds are going to do, we don't want to put folks in wind shifts and then we've got really bad problems. At 2 a.m., the Red Cross set up a temporary evacuation center at Fallbrook High, providing snacks, services and information to those impacted. But because of COVID-19, people were set up in hotels instead of congregating inside of the school. We've had over 120 individuals that are in the evacuation zone um, seek out um, some hotel rooms. In response to the fire, USO San Diego jumped in to provide impacted military families at Camp Pendleton with food, water and supplies on base. Many of the mandatory evacuation orders were downgraded to warnings this afternoon and by 5 p.m. all of the evacuations south of Duluth Road were lifted. Thankfully, no homes were damaged, no one was injured, and hopefully everyone will be back home in time for Christmas. Reporting in Fallbrook, Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News.